Bo says accepting the resettlement offer would kickstart the people smuggling trade. George Newhouse is an Australian human rights lawyer and I spoke to him earlier today. There was a federal court case on Friday in relation to an 11 year old girl. What can you tell us about the case? Last Friday, lawyers were in court for a gravely ill 11 year old girl when the government had actually appealed their application to bring that young lady to Australia. Now that goes against what the government's uh, saying. They're suggesting that they're happy to bring the children to Australia by the end of the year, but here they are in the federal court appealing a decision on the basis of jurisdiction. Now fortunately, the judges said, look, this case is, is not properly formed. We need to uh, have all the facts determined by a primary judge before we can hear an appeal. So the case was sent back down to a primary judge um, and therefore that case uh, it has been resolved. But it shows that the government are still committed to fighting these cases tooth and nail. The government says it wants to get kids off Nauru by Christmas. Isn't this something you'd welcome? Well, look, I welcome that, but it's not a, a policy cast in stone. You've had backpedalling all week uh, and the kids are still on Nauru. There are still urgent cases that may need to be accelerated to be brought to Australia because of urgent needs. Um, there are families that are split. And of course, you've still got um, uh, families living in limbo here in Australia because they don't know what their future will bring. The Prime Minister says he's been working to get the kids off Nauru quietly and that he's not showboating about it. Isn't that reasonable that the government works quietly on these issues rather than telegraphing what they're doing to people smugglers? Look, nobody wants to see people drowning at sea. Not me, not anyone. But this business of not showboating and quietly bringing the kids to Australia is just not the case. We've had to run cases for, uh, I don't know, a dozen children and we've had to drag the government kicking and screaming to the court in order to get um, them moved to Australia. So I'm not sure that the spin matches the reality. Pauline Hanson has claimed that asylum seekers are having children on Nauru to get to Australia. Is there evidence of this? Look, that's one of the most offensive comments I've heard. Uh, first of all, the children that we're dealing with who have um, you know, either a psychosis or resignation syndrome are older than five. So not one of those children was, uh, w was born on the island uh, at all. So uh, I, I don't understand where Pauline Hanson gets that uh, fact from. But even so, I can tell you that uh, there are women on that island who had children as a result of rape, which is a shocking phenomenon. And there are women who've had to be medically evacuated to have terminations because they weren't willing to raise children on Nauru. So um, I think uh, Pauline Hanson's comments are obscene and offensive and, they're just, and, and they just don't match the reality. Defence Industry Minister Stephen Shobo says sending refugees from Nauru to New Zealand would be a giant magnet for people smugglers. Is New Zealand now off the table in your view? Look, that does seem to be the position of the Liberal Party. I've stuck my neck out personally. I've said to members of the Labor Party that have contacted me that anything should be done to get these children and their families off Nauru and if, and, and if that means that they have to be uh, a citizen of New Zealand that can't come to Australia, so be it. But then the government's gone and changed their mind. They were happy to uh, make that promise uh, during the Wentworth election when there was a, an enormous groundswell in the community about the way these kids were being treated. But now, when they're put under the, under the pump, when it's time to deliver, they just haven't. And it's, it's, these people are in desperate straits. They need to be moved on. And there's no point in using children as human shields to deter others from coming to Australia by boat. When you've had a senior public servant uh, resign and say the turn back policy is what's keeping um, boat arrivals from Australia, not using these children as uh, uh, virtual human shields. 
We are several months away from an election and if you look at public polling, Labor is on the trajectory to win, although of course anything can happen this far out from an election. What should Labor do? They say they will pursue the New Zealand plan, but that's not going to deal with all the other people in detention, is it? Should they put a time frame on settling these people? Well, I think the Labor Party does need a time frame. Five years is way too long. It is cruel and inhumane to keep people virtual prisoners for five years. I understand the government has a political agenda to deter boat people. They've done their time. These people need to be found a third country solution, and that's what I'm pressing for, and I'd be pushing the Labor Party extremely hard to find third party countries that will take um, the asylum seekers, and if they can't, then bring them here. There really needs to be a solution as quickly as possible now. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Patricia.